not writing for name and fame so it is my profession so that i am still writing no rest at all i started writing in 1955 april i am writing all fields of articles and books short stories novels radio tv plays dramas biographies and uh, even on some spiritual uh, books wherever i go i see the things people the background i write stories i know the pulse of the readers uh, so what they like i write writing is my soul like eating drinking a part of my day to day life music is my inspiration you know i never thought it would become my life we are born to sing voice is our first instrument while we're always looking for some sort of musical truth in all the scores that we have and somehow we know it when we find it we're all on this great expedition together there's always this sense of ordinary people coming together to make something extraordinary i think that is the power of music for us for me i am partner with my choirs this is a lifelong journey to try to find out what makes music work and i think what makes this journey very enjoyable is that there are so many of us on it i am in music i know i love it i know it drives me you can't really say that you find music in your life i think music finds you As an actor, I think the most important thing for me was to be true to the character as it was defined by the script. Why do I love acting? I think it allows me briefly to understand the truth of other people. You can never be that person. But for a brief while, something inside of you resonates with something inside of him. There was nothing like the substation when I took over in 1995. and Paul Kun told me to take over the substation from him and it was an opportunity which could not fail why do we need contemporary art why do we need to experiment the substation had to be true to its own calling a space for the young the energetic that's what it had to be purpose of ITI really is to create artists people who can be leaders in the field of theater who can make a real change to theater we need to create new talented artists who are flexible who are thoughtful who have a commitment to humanity i think that's very very important pose liu xian 留到适合的时候，就把它放下，有所控制，有色彩的节奏，线条的节奏，很适合我这个好动的性格。创作的这种冲动，就是很想做一点东西，要表现一点东西。当时是看着 canvas， 看着空白，我们以前看过的东西、幻想的东西，无形中就在这个时候爆发出来。在我们创作的时候，意想不到的，有时候突然一个东西出现，会使到我们的作品更显得突出。Modern Art Society 六四年才去成立，因为第一个展览很成功，这个一种对艺术创新的一个新的精神，寻求新的形式、新的 idea、新的结构，这个我们 Modern Art 的一个精神。我不重复我的旧的路线呢，因为我有很多新的东西、新的发现、新的东西、新的发现还没有表现的完，还有很多存在脑里没有完。目前就不需要去找旧的东西。创新、创、创新，就是从创新中再创、创新。Curiosity, it's the engine of everything we want to create. 
When I came in Singapore 21 years ago, I didn't speak English. The dictionary was my best friend. The dictionary, there's no narrative. And I was interested to create kind of visual language, which is growing with my experience, my knowledge, my age. Not every good artist could be good teacher. Like not every good teacher is good artist. I have created kind of a vertical structure to bring them from very dependent when they uh, start and enroll in, in fine arts to very independent when they leave La Salle. I don't have my original home, but I'm dealing with the issue of home. I have nostalgia, but I'm not nostalgic. I'm usually questioning the idea of nostalgia. Memories, construction side of home or dislocation. From my process to content of my painting, home is where you are. You have to create that home as a platform to be able to create, to communicate, to have dialogue.